Welcome back. Our next guest is a former Peace Corps volunteer who has taken it upon herself to create a second Peace Corps of, by, and for Africans. It's, it builds on the Peace Corps model to give ambitious, idealistic young Africans the opportunity to be part of the solution for Africa. Liz Fanning is the founder of Peace Corps, uh, of Corps Africa. Welcome and congrats. Thank I you mean, so much. This is amazing what you're doing. What did you take from your time in the Peace Corps that inspired you to create this? Um, well, this is uh, inspired by the Peace, my Peace Corps experience in Morocco in the mid-90s. Um, uh, Peace Corps is two years of volunteering in a developing mm -hmm. country, um, living in villages and helping local people with projects. Um, so I was asked when I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Morocco um, by young Moroccans, educated young Moroccans, if they could be Peace Corps volunteers. Um. They would say, I want to help my country. I'm, I'm Moroccan. I want to be a Peace Corps volunteer. And I had to say, I'm sorry, it's only for Americans. Mm. So that, uh, that question dogged me for 20 years. Wow. And then I, um, I was working in international development and, and a lot of frustration. There were a lot of challenges. Um, but I really came to believe that the best way to help local communities is to go in without a pre-existing agenda, listen to local people. And I put that together with the idea of Peace Corps for Africans that I had always wanted to do and came up with Corps Africa. Something that's different about your program is it's mm -hmm. only for a year. And I loved what you said. Mm -hmm. We, If you go from America, you have to acclimate and you don't know the right. language and things. Right. But for people who are part of your Peace Corps, the second Peace Corps, Correct. they actually know the community already. Yes. Well, they go far from home. It really is about um, the transformative experience of getting out of your comfort zone. So mm -hmm. if they're from Casablanca, we'll send them to the High Atlas Mountains, mm -hmm. to a small Amazigh village. Um, it's about getting, um, moving to another part of their country, getting to know their own country, mm -hmm. learn a local dialect in their own country. Um, so they, they do have that that adjustment adjustment but it's not yeah. quite as much because they do speak the language and they have the culture um, and um, once they serve for a year in their own country they can apply to serve in another core africa country so they can mm -hmm. we have moroccans serving in senegal and malawi and rwanda and, you know wow. all the different variations and really it's it's amazing because they really we had one volunteer from senegal who served in rwanda and he said that he used to be a proud senegalese and now he's a proud african so we're trying oh, to really amazing. promote this pan-African community through the young people. So what are some of the projects that, that the, your, your volunteers have been a part of? Well, um, like I said, they go in without a plan. We right. train them in something called human-centered design, which mm -hmm. is sort of a structure to the facilitation process. And they, they, um, they facilitate community meetings and ask people what they want. So, mm -hmm. But most of the projects have been wells or schools, mm -hmm. libraries, a lot of animal husbandry, a lot of women's cooperatives. Mm. Um, we see a big basketball that's... court that was built. Yes, so well, cool. actually, that was a very special project. Of, we had a Senegalese volunteer serving in Malawi at the Zaleka refugee camp. Um, and the people there asked for a, a basketball court. Well, there was a basketball court made out of uh, you know mud. Right. Um, huh. And they asked to renovate the basketball court. So we went to the NBA, and they actually funded this court. Oh. And all the local people were involved in building it. And um, it was really exciting. We launched the court in June in Malawi. There is the Look finished how beautiful court. that is. It, it is. It is really incredible. Is um, the NBA sent some players, some former players there for the big wow. opening and we had thousands of people Gorgeous. there. Yeah, and it was the energy was wonderful yeah. and so the some of the refugees from the the camp are playing in the Malawi league against the Malawi basketball players and so they're really integrating into part of the country and other yeah. teams are going to go to the refugee camp to play at this beautiful court. So it's really exciting. It shows the connection here too that we can still be connected to this project even though it's the Absolutely. second Peace Corps more in Africa. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's also it shows that development is not just wells and schools. Development can when it comes from the people and it's something that they want, it can be it can be a it's court big. that keeps them productive and, and gives young people a chance to, you know, learn leadership and teamwork and all of this other you good are amazing and we want to <laughs> say uh liz was just awarded the sergeant mm -hmm. shriver award for Dis distinguished humanitarian service in june so, so congratulations to you and thank, thank you, you for everything thank you're doing you so to much. make our world a better place <laughs> thank you so much we'll be back with more right after this <laughs>